What's going on everybody? I'm Chris uh, with Reasonberg's Woodworking and uh, this is my DeWalt 734 planer. Uh, I've put about two years of use on uh, the blades on this machine and uh, I can tell it's starting to lose just a little bit of cutting edge. So I'm going to show you how to uh, simply flip the blades but it would be the same process if you were replacing the blades. Uh, so let's get started. Okay so for the first step we will need a Phillips head screwdriver and we will be taking out a screw off the dust shroud here, mirror image uh, to the other side, and then one directly underneath the center of it. I've already taken those out, uh, so with those three screws out, the dust shroud will just pop right off. And the next thing we need to do is we need to take the housing that covers the blades off. Uh, to do this, you'll use your torque wrench that's supplied by DeWalt uh, that sits in this little cubby here and uh, we'll be taking a screw out right here we'll take a screw out right here and these are both these torque screws uh, which fit the manufacturer wrench perfectly so I've already taken those out so we can pull this shroud off and now we can actually access the blades uh, one thing I do want to stress always make sure your machine is unplugged before you do any of this work and you have no power going to the machine uh, the other thing is, these blades, even dull, are extremely sharp razor blades. Uh, you will cut yourself if you start touching the blade. Um, but this is our blade housing here, and you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, torque screws holding the cover to this blade down. Uh, and one thing I would recommend is as you're changing blades and we get a set done, take a piece of painter's tape or something to mark it with just so you know you've already done that one and you don't double back and uh, do it again. Uh, so anyway, we're just going to go ahead and loosen these up. And as you can see, I've lowered the planer not quite all the way down, uh, but pretty close to the bottom without touching the bottom, uh, just to give me a little more access room with the wrench and a little more working room. And this blade spindle is going to want to spin a little bit as you're taking these screws out. You can semi-control it with the Torx wrench, uh, but just make sure as you're doing that it does not spin back and the blade above it catches your knuckle or your finger. Like I said, these blades are, even at their dullest, are still extremely sharp. Okay, so with those seven bolts off, if you notice, there's uh, two magnets on the end of your DeWalt torque wrench. What those are for, not necessarily picking up this cover, but it does work very well for that. They're actually made for picking up the blade. So you can stick it on there, pick your blade up, and you don't ever have to even touch uh, the razor's edge. Now one thing you'll notice is on this housing here, there's two pins that line up with these little dots on your blade. Uh, so we're simply flipping this blade around and we're going to put our magnet back on and reinstall that just how it was to get that new cutting edge on the side uh, that uh, everything will be cut on. Once you're sitting on those pins we can basically go ahead and put our cover back on, which also has dimples uh, for you to line up. And this beveled edge goes towards the inside of the machine. So line that back up. I typically just go back in. And we're just going to hand snug all the screws until we get everyone back in and then we'll go through and tighten them up. 
If you start to miss thread a torque screw for some reason, don't force it back it out and try again because you do not want to strip these sections out. You want to make sure that all of these screws go back in to hold that blade as evenly as possible. And now we're basically just going to go back through and hand tighten all these. And that is a complete blade flip. Now that would be the same process if you're putting in completely brand new blades. And we're just kind of going to push that down using our fingers on those bolts or those, those screws. And I'm going to reach back behind the blade and bring that down a little more to do the next one. And you can see on the next one, I've already done it. So I marked it with a piece of painter's tape just to know that I already did that one. Uh, so I'll rotate back around to that second one and that leaves me with one more uh, but that's all there is and then basically you're going to reinstall your shroud just like we took it off and then reinstall your dust collection if you use it uh, but that's it that's the basics of swapping uh, or uh, doing a complete change out on a set of blades.